I'm Sean Anderson of CHGO White Sox. And I'm Mark Carmen of CHGO Bears. And welcome into CHGO Tavern Style, presented by Salerno's Pizza. Head over to the Grand Ave location and call 312 666 3444 to make a reservation today. On today's Tavern Style, we'll be talking about the Bulls who are play inbound. That's right. They really aren't sure still if they're going to be playing at home or away. Uh, right now, they're currently in the 10th spot. But. Carm, the question that I'm proposing to you after the nightmare of a game against the New York Knicks last night, is a Chicago Bulls team worth watching in the play-in? Well, first of all, Sean, I've got to correct you. They are in the nine spot, which shows that you are are not focused. My research is outdated. It's okay. It is all right. But it just shows you that you need to refocus in on the play-in game, which is going to be amazing because (laughs) I don't know, like, what are you planning to do in the middle of an April... Baseball night, I mean, you are you really want to watch the White Sox again? I know well, you, I get paid to watch the White Sox. I understand, but that's fine. Take a night off. And, uh, <laughs> like, like, Cubs, April, not interested. Bulls, playing game, elimination game, I'm interested, man. They, they Listen, they, they play sometimes competitive basketball, and I'm here for it. I, I would rather watch that than anything else that's going on. I mean, I mean, nothing even has to be going on. I mean, you know, if, if it is a, a weekend, right, and I'm not, you know, supposed to be at work, am I going to go out of my free time and watch the Bulls play-in game who can't execute a 3 on fast break down nine or, you know, watch a movie I've already seen with my wife? So right, I'll probably pick watch a movie with my wife. So, right, and that that, that, that is a tough option. It could, I mean, it could it's be... It's not you, that tough. Well, right, I, if... if what, what's what's your favorite movie that you would watch with your wife right now that you've seen a hundred times? Sky High, of course. Okay, fine. You know that so movie. So Sky High, Sky High's on what? Bravo? Where does that pop up? No, I, we have Disney Plus. Do okay. you ever hear streaming, Carm? Yeah. Okay. Great streaming Disney Plus. I don't know your life. That's fantastic. <laughs> or uh, here's the. I give you two tickets: Bulls, Hawks, Hell. United Center. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Dude, why? Why would I want to be around? 40,000 people who are about to have their heart broken. First of all, they are winning. They won the play-in game last year, 9-10. Then they, then they were right there with Miami. Could have been in the playoffs. The Heat made a run all the way, nearly won the title. I'm not saying the Bulls can do that, but like crazy things can come out of the play-in. It happened last year. The Bulls are injured and banged up and nothing's happening. But I'd, listen, they're not... If they were trying to rebuild right now and, and get, you know, high draft picks, then I'd be like, oh, you know, start, please lose games. But they're not doing that. They're just trying to be in the middle, and they can't even get there. I'm not rooting against the Bulls. Uh, don't get it wrong, right? I mean, if there's a game seven where, you know, their playoff lives are on the line in the first round, hell yeah, I'll watch that, and I hope the Bulls win. But, I mean, even when you see Matt Peck and the pain that he's in and the, all the pain that the Reinsdorf are putting uh, White Sox and Bulls fans in, I don't really want to support this because them being in the playoffs is them generating more playoff revenue. And there's that famous Reinsdorf quote that he had to David Sampson uh, that, you know, he actually didn't say, but I don't believe that, uh, where, you know, you want to give the fans, uh, you want to finish in second place to give the fans something to look forward to, right? That growth. I think this is all just, hey, if we get a United Center play-in game, that's an extra game of revenue. Yeah, but news, And I'm jaded. I get it. Newsflash. If, if Jerry gets the revenue from the play-in game or if he doesn't get the revenue from the play-in game, <laughs> Jerry's life ain't changing. Well, yeah, no. and, so, and, and don't take on Peck's pain. Peck's pain is Peck's pain. And he lives in Peck land. I, I'm here for the low-level entertain me in the moment. And... A 9-10 play-in game where everything's on the line is generally more entertaining than anything I have going on. So I get it. They're going nowhere. The plan is moronic. There is no plan. But you've got me. I like basketball just like the other 20,000 sheep that show up at the UC. You've got me. I'm in. Well, no, Jordan's got you, and you're still living in that. Which, speaking of that, last night at the UC, (laughs) they did a tribute to, they did one shining moment, right? So they're showing these guys in college. They're showing DeMar DeRozan at USC. Right. Who let off one shining moment? Oh, there he is, Mike at North Carolina. Who's second? Scotty Pippen, Central Arkansas. And then let's go to the current Bulls. And then is Central Arkansas in the tournament? I well, I, I they they showed him in college. Oh, okay. I, that's right. a good question. That's a good point. I didn't think of it that way, but I was just like, oh, there's Pippen, mm. that idiot who sold out Michael. But there he is. And then <laughs> they show the current Bulls, and then they ended up with MJ. 
you know, shot against Georgetown 63-62. So I, I'm I'm still here for some connection to MJ. There should have been a play on the game when MJ was playing. Of course, he wouldn't have been in that like LeBron James is now. Jordan and the GOAT. If you are looking to watch some play in basketball, head over to our friends Salerno's on Tap, located at 1201 West Grand Avenue in Chicago, or call them for carryout and delivery. And it is the best deal in town. Mention CHGO and get half off your pizza. Call 312 666 Three four four four, or go to SalernosPizza.com. And Carm, I know that if you were in the United Center last night and you saw uh, our guy, I'm now even forgetting his name, uh, not Javante Green. Uh, oh, you Tory Craig. Tory Craig. Yeah, Javante Green saw would never do that. Tory Craig going up for a self alley oop off the backboard and slamming it down, and the Bulls go down seven. I know you'd be hyped as hell. He's channeling his inner Jordan. Are you for Tory Craig? So that's where I went old school, Carm. I'm like, are you out of your freaking mind? A left-handed pass alley-oop from the free throw line? It, that bothers the hell out of me. If we're talking, if we're going that route, NBA, please, can we get back to actual basketball? Get rid of the corner three, move the three-point line back. Let's get some hand-checking in the game. And let me see some actual defense. Every game's a freaking all-star game. Torrey Craig, complete lunatic. Throwing alley oops to himself, I, w- I was not here for that at all. I hated it. Do you want to ban self alley oops? You want like if he tosses a self alley oop to himself, he gets a technical. I, I Are do you going want, real I, old man. I want to ban alley oops. No down, more leaving the floor. Down. I want to ban alley oops. Down ten, <laughs> trying to like hold on to a play in seed. Like uh, it's cool uh, late in the game. It, great. Give me, give me, bounce it off the floor, off the backboard, let your dude dunk it if you have the game in control. It doesn't matter. Not in the second quarter down 10. Come on, man. Even if it's DeMar. Like, if it's DeMar DeRozan, if Zach was healthy, right, like, I'd be fine with it. But you're Tory freaking Craig. Right. I went and saw Tory Craig NBL highlights. He used to play overseas in New Zealand and Australia, and they had the top 10 Tory Craig dunks, right? And he's obviously the most athletic person in that league. And there's not a single self alley oop in any of his highlights all of them are like one-handed you know fast break dunks but he's not even throwing this shit down in the fucking nbl and his excuse was i wanted to get the crowd involved <laughs> the crowd is not involved they're We're just in the game they're just there man they're 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 hanging out they're watching benny the bull they're getting they're trying to get their portillo's hot dogs they're going for the dunkin donuts race they're staring they're, at the jordan they're, uh, they're, jersey they're up staring in the at the jordan. you weren't like the place wasn't going to get all hyped if you had thrown down your ridiculous alley-oop dunk that was insane and two i like Big Dave said, you threw that joker high. Like, I think that's also part of the reason why Drummond thought it was going to him was because it was about to be out of Tory Craig's hands because he threw it so high. Like, he was outstretched as far as he could be. It's a better pass to Drummond than it is to himself. So I get why Drummond's coming in trying to go for the slam. And I and I also don't think that Drummond gets hurt if that play doesn't happen. Drummond right. wouldn't have hustled back down the court as hard as he did to try to make up for it. He ends up spraining his ankle, though. It also looked very Achilles-like to me. We'll see what actually comes out of that whole thing. Only the Bulls. Only Only the Bulls. Only the one and only Chicago Bulls. I wore this for you today. There you go. Bulls. 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 Only the Bulls gets a reference.